good news for Ayato wanters. But, some of you might also be disappointed. There is a beta change of base for Ayato, where I quoted from a reliable sources. Ayato base attack got buffed and his numbers are looking very good now. He basically gets some rays in base ATK and HP, but have lower death. Ayato C2 also get buffed. His max HP is increased from 40% to 50%. His C2 actually looking so good with those HP scaling buffed. As for his C4, now he gets 15% ATK speed to party member including himself. But basically, they swapped his elemental burst bonus with his C4. Changing his ATK speed bonus to normal attack bonus actually makes him a lot more powerful and has more DPS potential. His passive also changed. To explain it in Razor language, his burst damage get optimization, which his damage scale is increased, but his 3% HP as damage is changed. As what I see, his new passive makes us not worry about his energy recharge. His weapon also get buffed. The normal attack increased from 8% to 20%. This number, together with 12% elemental damage bonus, is very high. Now, the gap between Heron and Jade Cutter is very huge. His signature weapon is still best in slot. However, I think other than Heron, Jade Cutter or Mist Splitter can also be a good option. His HP scaling might change. But don't worry, you still can use Jade Cutter for him. He still has HP scaling on his elemental skills, which is where his damage will come from. And even without HP scaling, Jade Cutter is still universal for most sword user. Iodo Burst also get buffed. His burst was increased from 15 seconds to 18 seconds, while his cooldown is still 20 seconds. They basically changed his attack speed bonus into normal attack damage bonus. This changes makes him to be more DPS than support. His buff now also deals with normal attack damage. This is a good changes overall.